what's it like when you see your team play as well as they did in the first 45 minutes? It must be incredibly satisfying. Yeah, very much. I think we've we've played in spells and since I've been here, and we've a lot of the things that we're working on, we've we've got it in spells and games. But probably for not as long as what we did. I think for you know for the best part of 60 minutes at Birmingham, we had that for for most of it. Certainly, the first 45 was was quite exceptional. You know, the first five six minutes, the game settles in, and then for for 35 40 minutes, we were fantastic. You know, some of the link up play, the one and two touch that you have to do to to get around the behind teams was working. And um, but you you don't come into a football club and turn it in a month or two. You have to have a a period of of um, evolution in terms of players and styles and how you want them to play. And I think Stuart Dallas touched on it in his media after the game when he when he said some of the things that we're now working on are coming to fruition. It, it does take time. Are you, were you surprised by what Stuart did the other night, or do you see that every day in training? The, the shooting and the scoring goals from 25 yards. No, he's a very talented boy, Stuart. I think I said after the game, and I'll repeat it. He he needs to believe more in what he can do. You know, we know how, how hard he works for the team. We know how much he cares, and uh, he's going to be a big player for for Leeds United next season. He's going to be a big player for Northern Ireland in the Euros in the summer, which is great for him because I know what it means to him. Um, but he's technically a top top player, and you know when when Stuart's in that type of form, he. Probably in the first half against Birmingham for 25 minutes, he was unplayable. 